Hey everybody, welcome back to another installment of my Lighthouse Loot series. Let's get straight into it. So here we are at the chalet slash resort area and we're going to come through this little passageway in the mountains to the village. To start out here, just a quick clip of another entrance to the village, just covering all my bases since you can spawn in many locations on this map. There's a dead body right there I'm looking at. You can loot. It doesn't always spawn there now with 13.5. This is just an addendum to the main lighthouse loot run I have on my channel. If you haven't already checked it out, the link will be in the description. So you come through that passageway and there's the village teeming with loot and easily the safest loot run on lighthouse. So here we are leaving the village. We got the bus there on our left and now we're in construction. You can see pride rock ahead of you. This is a clip from one of my Twitch streams, not the best quality, but if you want to come visit me at twitch.tv slash fanboy Nate, that'd be awesome. Just remember that O and boy is a zero. So you can see there's weapon parts and stuff that are on the ground and also on the seats of these vehicles. Got a nice toolbox. There's thermite up here. There's always loot in and around those broken up boxes. And that remains a theme here along the coastline. I talked about in the main video, if village is a little sparse, it doesn't have everything that you want and your bags aren't completely full, these little locations along the way to extract are great. At least you can get out with your scab kit and maybe a couple of things here along the coast. We are headed to the extract that is, uh, it's either hideout under the landing stage or just under the landing stage. Look around in these little boxes. There's some loot on the ground. Like I said, they can be in piles of trash. And then there is a hidden stash up here as well. Ironically, there's a hidden stash at the end of this one and hideout at the grotto. Checking out that scab there. All right, and there's some more juicy loot. I didn't pick any of it up because this is for instructional purposes. It was at the end of wipe. That is the exact positioning you need to be in for extract. I don't have it on this scav. Just go further back in there and you will extract. And next is the hideout at the grotto extract. For orientation purposes, I started out here at the village and left the front entrance there. You're going to see me pop up with the AK weapon in a second here. And that's because the original clip didn't show me leaving the village. And I wanted to make sure everybody knew exactly where they were. I think I'm gonna pop up here along the road in a second, but uh, just be careful because you're heading into rogue territory over at the water treatment plant. There we go. I'm crossing over the road here and gonna end up pretty much where the last clip ended. The village is right there on my right where I was looking. Luckily, when you're a scav, you can show up pretty much at the end of all the fighting you still want to be careful, but you might be able to find some loot if PMCs have killed all of the rogues and they decided to skip the ones at the front here. Be careful coming around these rocks. I like to stick to on top of the rocks. There aren't any mines that close to them, but I just like to hug them just in case. There are mines on the left. You'll see a, a just a sign for them. So right here out in the open, you want to be careful. I'm running up because it is towards the end and I know this route pretty well. And there you go, some dead scabs on the ground already. So I like to make the right over here because there is a rogue that sits up here that'll be shot. Looks like he was already looted, probably by other scabs. I don't know many PMCs that decide to run all the way up here just for these couple of guys. So I didn't want to stick around and loot that too much because I knew I was making the video. But otherwise, I think I switched out that rig after I was done showing. Don't worry, I pick up that, uh, that armor repair kit right there. Yep, there she is. That is a nice find, especially early in wipe. 
So in there, there's actually another green box in the back. I don't know if you could see it. I didn't loot it. Uh, there's weapon parts on the ground in there, weapon parts up here. And we're coming down from that same tower right there. You can look in all these little connexes and tents. And inside this box is a rare loot spawn. I found a nice clip of a Veritas pick being in there and some ammo. And then we're gonna go up to the grenade launcher. Sometimes there's a dead rogue there. There's a box up there. So freeze frame right here because this is just to the left of where we we're coming down. I wanted to show you what not to do here. Mines, so don't jump off there to the left. Just go down the stairs again and come out here. And we dip out. So the mines stop pretty much past that blue car. You can trust that blue car as a gauge. So we jump over the railing there. We come down to this car real quick. There's usually a little bit of loot on the ground here. Yeah, you can see the ammo, but on all sides. So just check around it real quick. Follow the water line here. No mines, you're safe. And we're gonna come up onto the stash here. Not sure if this still spawns in 13.5. Hopefully it does. It's a nice little come up in the end of every raid. You're gonna come around this little rock face that I'm in front of to the right. And there's a little cave system inside, but just ignore that. Just take the path that I'm about to take. If you like these kind of Escape from Tarkov videos, hit my subscribe button on my channel page. Tell me what you think. Make a suggestion for my next loot run or tell me something I may have missed in the comments. I really appreciate everyone who watched until the end. Come around this corner and then you'll be at Extract.